Welcome to Make Easy. This is the another video of QBasic file handling. In this video, I will explain you what is the use of line input in QBasic. Basically, line input is used in QBasic file handling only. Okay, so let's read the program. Rame is used to write the comment in the program as I have written here program name. So program, write a program to read all the records. So while you are reading the question just read it carefully so what is it is saying is write a program to read all the records to read to read means we need to use input mode in file handling all the records so how many records are there we don't know but we need to use all the records from the data file is student.txt the file name is mentioned is student.txt have some records we need to read all the records for reading we need to use input mode and display all the records display again display means input mode to display the records we need to use input mode all the records where field names are unknown so this is very much important here we need to display the records but field names are unknown that is like total number name class age or salary these things are not mentioned in the question so field names are unknown means in this file student.txt file there can be a name roll number class section whatever but we need to display all the records so for this type of question we need to use line input line input will read one record at a time let me show you example this is student.txt is here in my computer because we are using input mode so the file must exist inside this file we have here first number and then name and this is again number maybe this is the age or something else Again, we have number, name, and then age, number, name, and age. So line input will read this whole data at the same time. So we don't need to check whether there is a number or a string or something else. So let me store something here. Take easy. First of all, I am storing here name, and then I'll store roll number, and then I'll store class. So the data is different. In the first three line, number, name, and then again number. But in the fourth line, first name and then number and number. So it doesn't matter while we are using line input. Okay, first of all, write CLS, then open file name is mentioned there. So student.txt for input as as one. And after that, we are using input mode. So while not EOF of one, why we are writing this one here? Because we are writing here one. If we will write here two, then we have to write here two. So let me change the value two. So until we reach the end of this file, which file two? Two means student.txt. What we need to do? We need to take input because it is saying read so input has one from this has one not has one has two because we are using here two from this has to file a dollar this is the syntax but before this line we need to write here line input not input only line input so from this file it will read the first line whatever is there in the first line it will read everything so let me open this file again in the first line this data will be stored in a dollar and again second line will be stored in a dollar line wise in the place of this a dollar we can use d dollar b dollar but make sure that you will use a string variable with the dollar symbol so any variable you can use a b c d but dollar is compulsory line input then after input we need to print what we need to print the data data is stored in d dollar so print d dollar and then we are using while loop so end and end of the program this is done let me run the program and let's see whether it is giving correct result or not right first of all one and then 12 then 13 and then this so line input is used to read the records from the file where fields name are unknown fields name are not given 
So in this way, it works. I hope you understand the use of this line input. Thank you for watching. If you understand this video, please click on the like button, click on the subscribe button and share with your friends. And if you have any type of questions related to the QBSC, you can just write in the comment section. I will make video on that and I will explain to you. Have a great day. See you in the next video.